All right, welcome back to Pope Does PLTW. Um, in this episode, uh, we're going to pick up where we left off with parametric modeling. Uh, last time I showed you how to do the parametric table and talked about functions um, being entered instead of regular dimensions. That way your part model can be totally scalable. So even though you're only seeing inventor, what I have open is I have the other table open that tells me the functions that I'm going to need to put in for the dimensions. So if you haven't done that, make sure you pause the video and open up activity 8.2, which is parametric constraints. And we're going to make the steel plate today. And so on your instruction sheet, it has the overall picture of what you are supposed to make with the steel plate as well as all of these letter dimensions. And I'm going to show you one thing, which is going to be the parametric table here after a while. So you can kind of track along with what's going on. So we're going to use the table exclusively, which you should already have filled out. And so I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the table and um, the drawing. So let's start out with the table. And first thing I'm going to do is start a 2D sketch and I'm going to start it on the uh, XZ plane or the flat plane. So first thing we want is we want a rectangle because that's going to be our overall shape. And we want the overall plate depth. And so this is going to be our master, what's called our master dimension. So according to the table, it says three inches. So we're going to type in 3.0 and scroll out. Now, Next is your overall plate width. Now remember, you want to be typing in the parametric equation as your dimensions on inventor and not the actual values. If you type in the actual values, your part will not be scalable. So your overall plate width, it says D0 times 5 thirds. So you go to your keyboard, D0 times Five thirds, close your parentheses and hit enter. Now notice it has an FX five up here. You want that FX. So the five tells you the actual value, but you've really related it back to this first dimension here. So that's it for right now. I'm going to finish sketch. Okay, and I'm going to do my first extrusion. But before I do that, I want to save this. So I'm going to hit save as, and we're going to put this one in uh, unit eight and call it parametric point. You should save this in your user drive. Okay, so our next dimension is D2, which is plate thickness. So I'm going to extrude this, and notice how it says one inch. We don't want that. We want to type in D1 divided by 20 and hit enter. So there's my plate. Plate taper angle. We don't have to worry about that. It's not tapered any direction. So now we want the slot. Okay. So we have the slot width. And then later on, we are going to have uh, the slot radius as well. So let's go ahead and draw our slot, which is the long um, circular shape or oval shape from the drawing. So I'm going to start a new sketch on the top here and I'm going to move this around there so I can see it better. So my slot is going to be two circles and they are going to be connected by some lines. Now I drew the circles mismatched on purpose and you'll see why here in just a minute. Okay and so we want to use a couple geometric constraints um, to get this thing where we want it to. So the first one I want to use is the equal because I want both circles to be equal which they are and then I want to use the parallel on the lines so that both of the lines are parallel 
And let's make them horizontal. Nope. Sorry, we don't want to do that. Okay. Um, that'll be good for now. And then we want to make the dots coincident to a perpendicular line that runs through the part. So I'm going to get a line. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to make that a construction line. Now I go to my coincident constraint. Now the coincident constraints are not parameters. Okay. Oh, it shifted the shifted the line. Well, that's not good. So we're going to make this line. No, we don't want to do that. We're going to make this line this way. There. Okay. So now we're all set. Almost with that. And then we're going to use the trim tool to trim the insides of the circle. And so we get this nice little slot shape. Now, so this says um, slot width is one half of the overall plate depth. Um, D0 divided by 2. We're going to skip that for now and come back to it here in just a minute. We want to get the width location and the depth location locked in first. So the slot width location, if I go back to my drawing, is from the left edge all the way to the second um, center point of the second circle. So I'm going to dimension from the left edge to that dot right there and bring that up. Now it says slot width location, four fifths of the overall plate width. Well, that is, <coughs> excuse me, that is D1. So we're going to type in D1 times four fifths and hit enter. Okay, notice how we get this FX again. You've done it right when you see an FX appear. Okay. And I'm going to get the slot depth location, which is one third of the overall plate depth. So I'm going to go from my dot up here and scroll over. That didn't go what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to go from the dot here. To get a dimension, not sure why that's not going today. Here to there. Nope. We don't want that. We want. And I don't know what's going on here. So give me this. And well. We'll try it from this edge here. Okay. And we'll get a slot depth location of one third of the overall plate depth. So that's going to be D0 divided by 3. And that's okay for right now that it brings it um, out to that. We're not really concerned about that at this point. Now let's go back and get our slot width now that everything else is in place. So I'm going to go from one dot to the other, bring that up, and that says it's going to be D0 divided by 2. So I type that in. Okay, and we're moving on. Slot radius, same as plate thickness. So all I have to do now is I have to type in the radius. So I grab one of my circles, because we've already made them equal, and I'm going to hit D2, and there we go. So my slot is now in the correct place, and I'm ready to extrude it. So I'm going to finish my sketch, and D9 says slot extruded height. So I'm going to take that, and it's the same as the plate thickness, which is the D2. So I'm going to type D2 and make it a cut and hit enter. Um, and that failed for some reason. Oh, because it's a cut up. So we want to do through all. There we go. Enter. And there it is. Okay. So thanks for watching. We'll